Hello, I'm Uncle Mike Mike, your favorite gamer's favorite uncle. And we are here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on the Xbox Series S. Sitting here in Telluride, Colorado, Kilo Tango Echo X-Ray, KTEX, about to do a flight back home uh, in which we are flying back to Florida with a stop near Oklahoma City. So we are going to be going pretty much directly east here out of Colorado, up over the mountains, and then heading home eventually to Florida, but with a stop in Oklahoma City area. And we are sitting here in the V-Tail Bonanza that they just released on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 here on the Xbox Series S. We're sitting here in November 4444 Kilo. So let's go ahead and get right in the cockpit. Let's get 44 Kilo started up. I've already gone ahead and hidden the yoke so we can see all of the switches and bells and flippers and levers and all that kind of stuff. And so let's go ahead and turn on the master. Let's go ahead and turn on master for the avionics. So everything is looking good. We are at pretty high elevation here. So I'm just go ahead and mixtures coming in. Prop is all the way in. Crack the throttle. Check the fuel gauge down the floor. It is on the left tank. So everything is looking good there. Let's go ahead and get some fuel pressure going. There we go. Everything, we got some fuel pressure. Everything is looking good there. So brake is on. And let's turn the magnetos on. And so can I get a clear prop? There we go. <coughs> go ahead and let that, let that warm up. Man, that's a pretty crappy sounding engine here wow sounds pretty pretty fouled up doesn't it oh yeah there we go wow well that's never really happened before I'm back on the throttle now. I'll go to about a thousand RPM. So, wow. So, we are at such a high density altitude here. We're at nine thousand feet. We'll check the weather, but we're basically at nine thousand feet. The the airport here, Telluride Airport's at nine thousand feet. That we were just following the plugs up. We had the it's so rich. So backing off the mixture there, you can see that it just started running much better. So, wow. That's that's pretty interesting so we'll let that warm up check the oil pressure here oil pressure is looking good fuel quantity we are we topped the tanks off we did a flight this morning <coughs> so everything is looking good everything should be all dialed in the avionics and all that kind of stuff so let's go ahead now and close the door let's go ahead and close the window wow that was that was interesting gps flight today just Pretty much direct right over the mountains right over those mountains straight ahead is where we're heading we're going to actually take off and enter then a left pattern do a left downwind departure but we'll talk to traffic once we're ready to go here so let's go ahead and get lights going on so let's go ahead and beacon comes on nav light comes on we're at some pretty high elevations go up, turn on pito heat let's go ahead and get the alternator on so we get some juice we get some juice going. <coughs> All right. Very interesting here. Let's go ahead and give that just a little bit more throttle for warming up here. There we go. Okay. But here is now November 4444 four, four, four Kilo. Yes, I am still in my flight suit <laughs> and helmet. I just like that avatar. But we've got... Uh, significant other co-pilot there in the right seat with us for this flight eventually ended up back in florida but we're going to probably make a stop in the oklahoma city area that is what the flight plan is and so with that let's go ahead taxi to the run up so parking brake is coming off again i am flying on the controller here so takes a little bit more uh 
button pressing and holding down to get the, everything moving here. So, Telluride traffic, VTL Bonanza 44 Kilo. It's taxi in runway 27, Telluride. So, wind sock. Looks like the wind's coming. We know it's coming right down the runway, so that should help. But that that's pretty interesting, that first experience of of density altitude wow you know usually you know you just full rich lean it out once you get above 5,000 feet but heck we're starting way above 5,000 feet at 9,000 feet we'll get the altimeter setting we'll listen to ADIS here actually we can dial in ADIS should already be in from our previous flight this morning so it should be Go ahead and jump in here into the run up area. Sky condition. Few clouds at four thousand seven hundred feet. Temperature one eight C two point one three C. Altimeter three zero two three. High pressure, a little bit warmer day here and tell you ride. Wind two six one. Go ahead and turn our tail around in case anybody else shows up. Alright, there we go. Parking brake. All right, weather looks real good. Wind's coming straight down the pipe. Go ahead and turn that off. Let's go ahead and do a run-up, because we're definitely going to have to trim for best RPM here. So let's go ahead and bring this up to about 1,700 RPMs. I really want to lean this, so I want, I want pretty close right at 1,700 so I can really see a change. So... All right, I'm gonna start pulling the mixture here. RPM's coming up, 1800. Look at that, look at that. Wow, density altitude. This is a exercise, 1850. Looks like we're peaking at about 1850 right there. All right, let's check the magnetos, right magneto. About a 50 RPM drop, eh, 75, back to both. Let it come back up. Looking good. Left. Looking good. Go back to both. So that looks good. Let's check our constant speed prop since it uses oil from the engine. What we're expecting to see is an RPM drop and an oil pressure drop. So we want to watch these two gauges right here and the RPM. So oil pressure should drop, RPM should drop, and we don't want to see any oil or smoke. That's bad news. That's bad news, okay? <laughs> That's bad news. So let's go ahead and cycle this. RPM drop, oil pressure drop, I see it. And we're also just cycling the oil through the system. So let's go ahead. RPM drop, yep, all right. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and just check all of the engine gauges here. Everything is looking good. I like everything that I see. We got, we're making, we're making electricity on the alt, the alt, the altometer. <laughs> uh, all right, so pitot heat is on. Let's go ahead and get the landing lights on. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and check idle. Now that we've leaned, because that was some rough idle there on start. Whew. We were just fouling the plugs with, with fuel. All right, looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and come back up to a little fast idle there. And let's go ahead and get in position here with November 4-4, 4-4 kilo. And let's head home. So, brakes off. And here we go. Controls are free and looking good. There's beautiful scenery out here. Even in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, this is beautiful scenery. Remember, this is on the console. This is on <clears throat> Xbox Series S. So, you can see over there on our GPS, just a straight shot, pretty much east right over Black Bear Pass on the east side of Telluride. And let's come up here to the hold markers. And Telluride traffic, 
Vitae Bonanza, 4-4 Kilo is going to line up and wait. Runway 27, Telluride. There we go. Line up and wait. We're going to do a line up and wait because I'm going to cycle the power. I want to make sure everything is good to go because we're going to be taking... We're about... <clears throat> about full weight even we took friends here earlier this morning on a sightseeing flight and so I know that's going to take a little bit extra runway so I want to come up here I just want to check check everything make sure everything is looking good and so all right let's go ahead and get some power everything is looking good here like what I see, a little bit more power. Let's go full power. 21, 22 inches of manifold. Let's let that RPMs come up. We're gonna expect about 23, 2400 RPMs. Yep, yeah, there we go. And breaks off and let's go home. Woo! Look at the slow, low, the airspeed is alive. Whew. Here we go. <laughs> Fifty knots. Whew. I'm gonna keep it on the ground just a little bit longer here. All right, and rotate. Ooh, come on, come on, girl. Come on. Come on, 4-4 kilo. And gear up. Oof. Gears in transition. Gear up. All right. We got this wind, so... Of course, we'll probably get some... Wind currents and turbulence here just with that wind. Stay right traffic, Vtel Bonanza 44 Kilo is left crosswind in runway 27, tell you right. All right, gonna go ahead now. I'm gonna come back on the old RPMs here. Ooh, a little, what about 2000? Just gonna conserve this nice, easy climb out. Just a nice, easy climb out here. We're only making about 20 inches of manifold pressure because of this density out. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, 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 oh. A little slow there. Stay right traffic, VTL Bonanza 44 Kilo is left downwind for left downwind departure to the east. Tell your ride. Whew. A little stall warning there in that uh, those bumps and a uh, turn. But there is Tell your ride up on on the bluff. There's amazing airport. Just absolutely amazing. Straight ahead, you can actually see the Mountain Valley ski area right off the nose there. You can actually see the ski runs here. Getting a little bit of vertical changes in the wind. So we're getting some lift, we're getting some sink. Just because we got this wind now off our tail. So as we cross over these valleys, we'll get into some, some troughs and then in some rising air and all kinds of stuff. So we'll just... And then what we're going to do, we're going to come up here onto the mountain village, and then we're going to make a slight left turn and cross over the valley that Telluride's in. Get some nice pictures of Telluride, and also not fly over right over the city of Telluride. So, But we got time here. We just got to climb over Black Bear Pass, which is right off the nose here. So we're just going to go up the canyon and climb up. Go up through Ingram Basin. Well, there's a lot to see. You got to really come out to Telluride, Colorado. That's a really neat, 
old mining town and all this kind of stuff and as we go we, we're gonna that's why we kind of wanted to do it this way because we want to take some pictures on our climb out and all that but there is the ski runs right off the nose there ski runs of mountain mountain villages we're going to cross over the canyon here that way we can get some nice pictures of telluride the city of telluride which will come into view here in just a little bit right off the nose as we get looking right up the canyon here so we are just still doing our climb here in november 44 44 kilo <laughs> There is the resort for the mountain. You can actually see the, the ski runs here and they probably got a, you know, one of those what mountain the little rides that you do in the summer <laughs> at the ski, ski lift when there's no snow. But here's the beautiful mountains. And so now we can actually see the town of Telluride, Colorado right down there in this beautiful valley. And again, it's an old mining town. It was actually called Columbia, I think, first, but then they renamed it Telluride after the Telluride minerals. I think it's like Telluridium or something like that. And when it formed with other minerals, they call it a Telluride. And so that's what the town's named after, the minerals all that were found here in the mines. And then if you look right off the nose, way off there, up going up the side of the mountain, you can actually see the switchbacks for the Black Bear Pass Trail, Jeep Trail, that you can take to come over the Black Bear Pass. <laughs> so, <coughs> and that's where we are heading, straight off the nose there over Black Bear Pass, because that's uh, that's the low, the low pass that we can take. And then over here, up in this base, you can't really see it, but up there, that's Savage Basin. There was another huge mining operation over there. But now we're passing right over the town of Telluride. So bye-bye, Telluride. And you can see how right off the nose, there's a waterfall there. That is Bridal Veil Falls. There's actually a cool power plant up there. And now you can really see the Jeep trails and stuff for... Uh, going up the switchbacks going up to ingram basin that's where we are heading here is right up ingram basin we can get some nice photos here but yep over here this is savage basin over here to the left big big mining operation up there or old mining operation and we're just going to go right up here into ingram basin kind of did a little scouting flight early this morning so i think we could be all right here looks like we've got some time to climb but now you can see the Jeep trail going up the side of the mountain and off the right wing tip there, that is Bridal Veil Falls and there is a power plant up there. So that's neat. And here we go, going up into Ingram, Ingram Basin. Oh, I didn't really notice that there was this big cliff wall when we did our sightseeing here. So I'm a little concerned here that we are not gonna be able to climb out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go full RPMs here. I'm gonna then, I am gonna also go ahead and put down a notch of flaps. And we are gonna go ahead and get out of here. Oh, whoa, 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 what the, f what the? F if you would like more information on the Fallen Eagle flight, of November 4444 Kilo, please click the link and watch the video by Flywire Scott Perdue. Thanks for watching.